Okay, well one of the great things about the Mini Monster is that you can assign an LFO to almost any of these main GUI parameters here. So uh, I, we quite often just kind of jam around and see what we can come up with and you can come up with some really interesting stuff um, that you wouldn't think was possible if you look at it on the surface. So here's a very kind of basic sound. In fact it's even called basic basses. Um, and let's say I'm going to start with tune. I'm going to just pitch it up so that it's an octave higher than normal. And I'm going to allocate it a square wave. And I'm going to say, actually, I'm going to give it the time of one beat. I'm going to apply this LFO and it's going to be for one beat. So we need to determine the degree of amplitude. And I'm going to, I know this off by heart because I've done this a couple of times. It's 60%. Now, obviously, you can see the blue illuminate around the tune knob. And this tells you that an LFO is actually assigned. So we're only working on a single oscillator at the minute, eight foot square wave. Um, I'm going to give it a volume of 50% at the minute. Um, that's on and these two oscillators are off. So this should jump up and down an octave. Which it does. Okay so that's nice and straightforward. So taking that I'm now going to assign um, a similar LFO to the oscillator 1 volume control. So again, I'm going to assign a square wave. I am going to give it, let's say, a one beat again. That's half a beat, let's say one beat there. Amplitude wise, well, let's have a guesstimate. Let's just muck around with, say, around 30% or something like that. Um, but I want this to start slightly. Um, actually, I'm going to start at 50%. You see the sync knob here, is, this determines at what, what point in the waveform that the LFO starts from. So I'm going to start this 50% of the way in, because that way it'll differentiate between that and the resync point here of the tune, which is uh, no nothing, effectively. Sorry, lost my train of thought there for a second. Okay, so now when we play it, it's reasonably interesting. I'm going to give it a little bit more amplitude. So I'm going to give it a little less because I do want it to be evident the whole time. Okay, well let's move on to oscillator 2. Again, I'm going to put this at 50% because this means we've got room to manoeuvre up in terms of volume and also down and, and that works great with the square wave which I'm going to apply to it. Okay, I'm going to give this a slightly different time here. I'm going to give this, let's say, two beats. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. In fact, let's hear this in real time as we go along. So I just press the hold and then press a the key on the GUI quite neat. Now I may have to re-trigger this as we go along but obviously this, you know, it's worthwhile hearing the edits that you're making as you're going along. So uh, I'm going to give this a, around a kind of 50% and the reason you let's open up, open up the filter cut off a little bit there so we can hear. I quite like that. Okay, and we're going to do exactly the same again here. So with oscillator 3, let's again have it. I'm going to have this slightly less than 50%. And let's take, what should we do with this? Let's have one and a half, shall we, for a laugh? One and a half for a laugh. So it's like a bingo caller. Okay, so here we go. Let's just re-trigger that. Yeah, I like that. And obviously we don't have to stop there. We can now go to the cutoff. And let's say, let's give this one a four beat period. I want to give 
give this one a different waveform at the minute we're going to try but I'm going to give this a ramp down so I'm going to re-trigger it again same with emphasis or um, resonance as it's more commonly known. So again, we'll give this a square wave. Um, let's try this as a full beat as well actually. I'm going to give this, I don't want to push this too high. Okay, and I'm going to re-trigger it again. going to smooth out this waveform so really I'm just going to round off the edges here um, just a little bit so it's not so jumpy let's try a little bit more. okay and re-trigger it I quite like that okay well we're not going to stop there either we are going to go for contour. So let's leave that as it is and keep it. Let's keep that one as a triangle. I'm going to give this eight beats I think for a laugh. And maybe some. Okay and re-trigger this. Nice. Okay, and what's cool, we can also do similar things, we can apply the delay, so on the delay left channel here I've got one beat, and on the right channel I've got, one. actually that's three quarters of a beat on the left, and I like that, and one on the right, so let's add a bit, that gives it a bit more depth immediately. We could add an LFO to any one of these parameters as well. One of the things I quite like doing is adding it to delay feedback. So let's say that we are ramp up, cosine up. Let's try something completely different there. So again, let's have this as a kind of eight beats. Okay, so let's re-trigger that. I've got some smoothing on here, so it's basically going to smooth off that precipice there. So let's just try that. That's nice. So we're going to even try this on the volume as well. So here's the volume. I'm going to assign a square wave to that. I'm going to really slice this up now with a quarter note. Okay, so there's a quarter of a beat. And I'm not going to push this over, overboard in terms of amplitude, but... kind of gate there. So let's just re-trigger that. And of course we needn't stop there either. We can put a pan on it. So let's say I'm going to put a sine wave on the pan. Um, I'm going to make it pan across two beats. And I literally just have to apply the amplitude. So now it's panning from left to right. So what you've done here is taken a relatively straightforward bass patch and using an enormous amount of LFOs, we've changed it into something really quite different. And 
And here's where the jam starts, really, because uh, I can use the string machine underneath this. Pretty much instant tangerine dream territory. If I want to change the pitch. Sometimes I create sounds on the fly. <laughs> 